At this point of my journey, I already had seen enough evidence about the benefits and safety of a plant-based diet for adults. But was this lifestyle also ideal and safe for children? Not only can children grow healthy on a plant-based diet, they'll grow healthiest on a plant-based diet. When we have an epidemic of childhood obesity and children raised plant-based actually grow taller by about an inch. They grow about an inch taller than median competition. And most importantly, they grow less in a horizontal direction, right? They don't have the, um, the same problems with childhood obesity. So Dr. Benjamin Spock, the most esteemed pediatrician of all time, wrote one of the best-selling books in human history, recommended in his final edition of the seventh edition of his book before he died in his 90s, that all children should be raised with zero exposure to meat and dairy. And he did this because he saw what you know the, the older generations were dying from and wanted to get them off on a good start. I mean, the leading killers of our children will eventually be the same thing, heart disease, cancer, stroke, COPD, diabetes, hypertension. These are diseases that can be prevented, in many cases arrested or even reversed with a healthy enough plant-based diet. As a new father, I wondered, how could I get my daughter to eat healthy? since getting her to eat anything at all can sometimes be a problem. There's so much junk being marketed to kids out there, and it is often difficult for parents to transition their children to healthier food options. I would not be surprised at all that if in 15, 20, 25 years time, people will look back at the last 10 to 20 years and they'll say, how did those people give that food to their children. The big question that we get all the time is, how can I get my kids to eat better? I think every parent wants their kids to eat healthy, and it's, it's difficult, especially when everywhere you look, there's a fast food restaurant or a processed food snack that is being marketed towards children. And the first thing that I always say is, you have to lead by example. As a parent, you can't be eating lousy foods and expect your children to eat healthy because you tell them to. Uh, so you have to walk your walk, that's number one. The second thing is, I encourage all parents to make uh, the preparation of meals and the shopping of food inclusive with their children. The more you can bring your kids into the fold, the more they're going to develop an emotional attachment to where their food comes from, how it's prepared, and the impact that it's having on their health. Really get inside their heads and sort of think how they would think. Uh, telling them what is good, what is bad, won't probably work. Uh, you have to interact with them. You have to show them what's possible. Get your hands dirty. Get the kids to help you and let them own what they're doing. If you always put something in front of them in a silver platter and let them uh, consume their information, you know, it'll only work for so long. What you gotta do is you gotta get them involved, uh, let them have the responsibility. The way I approach it is that I try to make it as fun as possible. Use colors, use flavors, uh, teach a little thing that they never knew about, use uh, gadgets that uh, normal people won't see, but I want them to uh, go away with the feeling of accomplishment and something that they're eager to share to their friends, hopefully their parents. I think that's the best part. It's like holding a bird. You don't want to hold it too tight. You're going to hurt the bird. You don't want to hold it too loosely. It's going to fly away. That's something that each individual parent has a specific knowledge of their kid. I get the questions all the time. What do I do? How do I start? How do I tell my kids, oh, they're going to be so disappointed that they're not having meat on their plates, that they're not having dairy. Try a vegan burger. It's basically the same thing. You just leave the meat out. That's great for kids, because why are you going to put that burger on that bun? You're going to put all the fixins on that, whatever your kids like, and make it exactly the same. That's a great way to get started. I mean, I think with the younger generation, what's so exciting is, is that they get to start young. I mean. I'm not gonna have any regrets, but it sort of bums me out a little bit that I'm just now discovering this in my 30s because I wish I would have done this when I was younger because just the thoughts of like the energy that I would have had in college. I think the other thing is to not have 
hard and fast rules with your children. You can't eat that and you, know, you have to eat this. And instead respect them as independent sentient beings who have uh, you know, the wherewithal to make conscious decisions for themselves. So at our home, we serve plant-based foods all the time. We don't have any animal products here. Uh, but when my 10-year-old daughter goes to a birthday party, she's surrounded by you know, chicken McNuggets and birthday cake and all of that. And we don't say to her, you can't eat those foods. We say, have a great time at the birthday party and make the right choice for you. And that doesn't mean that she always makes the right choice. That way, you are empowering them. This is a lifetime we're talking about. This is a long road ahead. So it's about getting your children to think consciously about their own choices so that when they reach the age of maturity, they are informed and educated and prepared to be responsible stewards of the planet and responsible stewards of their own bodies. I could